Welcome to Hoffman Engineering. Hey guys, I'm curious about layer height and the effect that has on quality. So that's what today's plan is. I found this cute cuddling um, owl figurine and I'm going to print this a few times with a few different layer heights. I think the plan is I'm going to throw it into Slicer and have it create G-code for 3 millimeter or 0.3 millimeter, 0.2, and 0.1 millimeter layer heights. And I'm going to print them and uh, I'll see what the differences in quality is. It's got a few different surfaces which should be able to, to show in layer height, especially down here at the feet, that curve, um, up here near the head and the ears. Um, of course, all the little feathers that'll show really good and I'm also really curious about this the back of the toe right or the back of the foot this is also going to be a good area to see differences in layer height so I'm going to get my um, Prusa all set up for that and I'll show you it printing and talk about the differences that I see Hello, so the printing's done, and uh, overall it turned out pretty well. I have in front of me the Cuddling Owls with, this is a 0.3 millimeter layer height, then we have a 0.2 millimeter layer height, and then finally 0.1 millimeter. And uh, overall they turned out pretty decently. If we go over here to the, the larger layer heights, you can see that generally it went pretty well, but on top you can see that the layer height couldn't quite capture the curves at the very top. Especially over here you can see the individual layers, how it kind of just pancaked on top. But uh, generally it looks pretty good. Um, it's smooth, doesn't have too much z-wobble or anything on that end. If we go over here to the 0.2 millimeter, this is what I've been printing everything at currently. And you can notice it a lot on the recording with this uh, high definition webcam, but there's a lot of a lot of z wobble that's happening on my machine, and so I'm gonna see if I can do something about that. But if we look at the top here, do you see that the layers are a little bit more defined, or the curve is a little bit more defined? But especially over on the smaller one, we have some separation between the layers. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, it looks like the printer just kind of tried to do an overhang and couldn't quite get there, or um, I'm not sure exactly what happened on that. Uh, the ears, especially at the tip here, is a little little malformed just because of the very short print time. I, the plastic didn't have time to cool, so that's to be expected. And then finally, the 0.1 millimeter. It looks really nice. The curve is really well defined on the top and over here on the smaller one. Um, just like the 0.2 millimeter, there is some some areas in which wasn't fully closed, but uh, I guess that happened on all of them, so I'm not quite sure what to do about that one. Uh, the ears are a little, well, malformed, but uh, generally, especially, I'm going to turn these around, and this is where you can tell a big difference with layer height. So one place that I noticed was right here in the back of the the big guy's foot. If the camera zooms, yeah, you can see that that curve, there was only like two layers for the 0.3 millimeter. And so it's kind of a very steep flat area and couldn't quite capture that with the layer size. As I go down in layer height, you can see that the 0.2 captured it a little better. There's still some flattening of there, but 
generally that looks pretty good. But if we go to the point 1, that curve looks amazing. It, it looks like it's supposed to. It doesn't look like it's just a couple layers pan pancaked on top. But uh, yeah, so the differences in print times were quite substantial. So the 0.3 millimeter, that took about, I, I think it was an hour and 31 minutes or something like that to print that. The 0.2 millimeter, that took an hour and 58 minutes. And then this guy, this guy took forever. It was three hours and 20 something minutes to print this. And I'm not sure that the uh, increased curve catching capabilities of the lower layer height makes up for that long print time. But I guess it depends on what you're doing. If you're going for more organic feel, then lower print height will help you get those curves just right. Um, generally for what I've been doing, I haven't had any issues with the 0.2 millimeter layer height. It's just something to play around with. I've never printed anything on this on my Prusa with anything lower than 0.2 millimeter, so this is more of an exercise to see if this machine could do 100 microns with no problem. And it looks like it did it pretty well. Just took forever to print. So that's that. That's my little layer height experiments. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna have more things like that in the future, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.